Hello, welcome back to Bucks County Beer Reviews. We've got an absolutely stunningly gorgeous day. The heat and humidity are gone. The sun is shining. I'm recording this Friday night after work. And all is well. And I have something here to show before I do my beer review, which is going to be Oktoberfest Beer Martson from Bell's Brewing in Michigan. I have to show you this. I got this from Friar Joseph from Friar Joseph Brew Review Barbecue and Travel Channel. Uh, he had a little competition uh, to name his RV. They picked up a new RV or a, a new used RV, I think. And they were going to tour around Europe and France and all them places. He's in Ireland. I should have said that right off. And he wanted to name his new RV, so he had a competition and asked for suggestions. And I picked Jolly Dame, or Jolly Dame, which is French for pretty lady. I had to use a translator for that. I don't speak French. But I looked up pretty lady in French, and it was Jolly Dame. And that's the name he picked. And he, I won his prize. I want to show it to you. It's a very nice flask. Uh, get it out of this box here. Check that out. It says Ireland on it. It's got a neat, uh, it's got a cross and some other scenery on it. Look at that. And also in the box is a nice corkscrew bottle opener. It says Ireland on it. Check that out, huh? Pretty nice. And two shot glasses. I don't use shot glasses that often, but this is a nice set. Two of those. And a bunch of coasters. We got a one from Black Donkey Brewing in Rose Common, Ireland. We got one from Kinnegar Farmhouse Beers from Donegal. We got a Guinness Extra Stout. We got one that says, Lovely day for a Guinness. With a farmer in his cart. And the horse, he's pulling the horse in the cart. And we got one that says, Oh my Guinness. And we got another one that says, Lovely day for a Guinness with a turtle with a Guinness on his back. So, very, very, very nice. Thank you very much, Friar Joseph. I sure appreciate that gift, a prize, whatever you want to call it. It's very nice, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, to the beer. Oktoberfest beer from Bell's Brewery. Uh, it's a Marzen from... Bell's Brewery is located in Comstock, Michigan. And on the back it says, Bell's Oktoberfest is community in a glass. Our traditional Marzen, Marzen lager has rich German malt flavors and crisp hop aromas, making it the perfect pairing for the annual festival tradition of drinking beer with friends. It's 5.5% ABV. Let's try this new opener and get this bottle open. The cap has a maple leaf, an orange maple leaf on it. Here we go. Alright. A little bit of smoke came out. It smells sweet and malty. It's a light aroma. Not, not a whole lot of aroma. A little bit. I came home and I, I was like, ah, I don't feel like doing a video tonight. I'm tired. It's been kind of a long week. And then I had a Miller Lite and I felt a little bit better. Then I had a second beer and I felt much better. And I'm like, okay, let's go do a video. That's a pretty color. Look at that. It's got uh, moderate to 
pretty decent carbonation. And by the way, I I told my wife I'm going out to review this beer. And I gave her one and she opened it and tried it. And she said she wants to weigh in on it. She said it's high ranking. She said great bitter and mmm flavorful. Flavorful. That's her quote. I wrote it down exactly as she told me. So I'm going to try it ahead now. Mm. Oh. I am so loving these Oktoberfests and Fest beers and Martins this year. This is, I think, my fourth one. I have two or three or four German ones in the fridge waiting. I selected this one tonight randomly. I didn't really say, oh, I want to go home and do bells. It's just the one I grabbed out of the fridge. The head is very flavorful. Very nice. A little bit of bitterness in the head. Bitterness, bitterness and sweetness and maltiness. Let's try it. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. It has a sharp malty sweetness on the front end and the middle of the palate. I'm picking up a little bit of caramel flavor. And then it kind of finishes dry. Sorry about that. <laughs> My wife said uh, great bitter. To me it's moderate. It's got a little bit of bitterness. It's nice. It's nice and sweet and, and then it finishes dry. On Untap, this gets a 3.66 with 85,000 ratings. Now I'm thinking they didn't change it since last year, so to have 85,000 ratings this early in the season, that has to include last year. And it didn't say anything about 2023 or 2022. So I'm thinking they left the recipe the same. It's the same beer as last year. And people are still reviewing it. Most likely. That's my guess. Um, it's not the best one I've had this year, but it's good. It's very refreshing. A little bit of that sweetness and the maltiness and a hint of the bitterness sticks on the tongue after drinking. It's still there. I like that. Easy to drink uh, two or three of these. They just go down real easy. They're real nice. But for a grade on this one, I think I'll go, I'm thinking B+. Plus. Like I said, it's not the best one I had. The Sierra Nevada was the best one that I've had maybe ever. I don't know. I only started drinking these Oktoberfest beers, I want to say three years ago, but it could have been two years ago. I don't remember. When I started watching Jay Terrio uh, beer reviews and started thinking about beer more, that's probably when I started with Oktoberfest. And the first year I probably only had maybe two or three different ones. This year I'm going for as many as I can get. I'm going to drink them and review them all through the season here. And I guess I better stop I'm running a little bit long here. I'm going to give this one a B plus. It's certainly very good. Uh, I'd recommend trying it. Uh, like I recommend trying all the Oktoberfests. It's uh, Bells. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. I'll catch you next time. I got, like I said, more Oktoberfest and a whole bunch of other things in the fridge to review. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.